Welcome to Wild Breakaway with Ben Clymer. I'm Audra Martin. The Minnesota Wild needed a good response after a very tough loss a few nights ago against the Arizona Coyotes. They had that type of response tonight against the Chicago Blackhawks despite being outshot by 25 to Chicago tonight. Devin Dubnik, perfect between the pipes. Charlie Coyle, two goals. Overall, a nice bounce back effort. Yeah, the overall energy, which was something Bruce Boudreaux was not happy with, even though they were up at a certain point of 3 nothing. As many fans know against the Arizona Coyotes, they would ironically win this game 3 nothing, but with a much more complete effort, despite you know losing that shot differential in a mighty fashion. Devin Dubnik up to the task in that five-on-three penalty kill in the first period. That was a game changer. Well, here's a look at tonight's final stats at minus 25 shot differential tied for the fourth most for the Minnesota Wild in a victory. It was a solid effort. And special teams as the Wild go a perfect four for four on the penalty kill, one for four on the power play, 11 power play goals in the last 11 games. Bruce Rudrow, happy to say the least with the efforts from Devin Dubnik. Devin was really good. Um, uh, <laughs> He had to make some really good saves. But they shoot the puck from everywhere. Like, I mean, just turn around, throw it at the net, and, um, you know, I mean, but he, he was really good. And he, this was like he played the first half of last year today. That's what it reminded me of anyway. So now the homestand continues Tuesday night. The next opponent, the New York Rangers, who are struggling. They've lost seven of their last ten games. Hopefully the Minnesota Wild can carry some of the momentum and the confidence they got in this one into another home game in St. Paul Tuesday night. Well, Glenn Sather penned a note to the fans. They are selling at the deadline. Training camp has officially started for the newcomers. Two newcomers, Vinny Letary, Neil Pionk, playing for the Rangers. The Minnesota Wild have to beat the teams that they're going to play to round out this home stand at home. The Rangers outside looking in. Then Washington will come in Saturday afternoon. Obviously inside looking up and towards the Stanley Cup final. That is certainly a team that the Minnesota Wild will be able to measure themselves about. But then at the end, Anaheim. Briefly out of the playoffs, Minnesota needs to make sure they take advantage of that. They've been so good at home, we just need to finish the race. Well, we look forward to seeing you Tuesday night as the Wild take on the Rangers for the first time this season. We'll see you in a few days. For Ben Clymer, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us on Wild Breakaway.